Hi all, this is Chris Charles with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to loop through all of the cells within a range. It's actually pretty simple code. It's code that you're going to actually use a lot if you, once you start coding in VBA. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Visual Basic Editor. You'll notice I already have it open. To get there, hit Alt F11. You can also go to your Developer tab, uh, click Visual Basic. If you don't have your Developer tab, you can actually get to that through File and then Options and then um, click some other stuff in there. Let's see what that is. File. Sorry, I got a little distracted. File. And then you're going to do customize the ribbon and you're going to click that developer tab. All right. So first thing we're going to do once we have that Visual Basic Editor open, we are going to open up a module. We're going to call this sub cell loop. Which sounds actually really funny. We're going to dim C as a range. And the reason we're going to do that is because a cell actually is a range. It just happens to be a range that is a one by one range or one row and one column. So what we need to do now is we're going to do for each C in selection. Now selection is a range. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this loop and then we're going to kind of simplify it a little bit or just show you how we would change it up just a little bit. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go next. Um, anytime you do a loop, whether it's do loop or for loop, best practice is do that for and then do the next and that way you don't forget it. You don't get a compile error. Those are pain. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create C and T equals one and that's just a counter. And so we're going to go C. Um, C is equal to C and T. C and T equals C and T plus one. What this is going to do is it's going to go in and it's going to, in our cell that we're in, it's going to add a number. Let me just go through this real quick. Now my selection is right there. C and T is equal to C and it puts it right in there. Now I've only got a one by one range. We're totally cool. Okay. Now let's go ahead and alter that a little bit. We're going to delete this. We're going to come in here. We're going to have a bigger selection. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. And again, I'm hitting F8, which just walks you through one time. Uh, if you hit F5, it'll go through the whole thing. It'll go really fast, so don't blink. So we're going to go 1, and it's going to go to that next cell. It's going to go 2, and I'm just holding that down. And I'm actually going to hit F5, and it's going to count. And I had 40 cells open. Now, what if we wanted to do a range? Now, a good way to do that is just make another range. So you go dim RNG as range. And then you're going to go set RNG equal to selection. And then instead of putting selection there, you would just go RNG. Now our range could be whatever we wanted. We would just have to specify a specific range. Now, same thing happens. I'm just going to hit um, F8 just to walk through here this real quick. We set that range equal to selection. You'll notice it comes in down here. Count is equal to 1. We loop through everything. I don't want to go so fast. I'm just hitting F, hitting F8. I want to go faster. Hit F5, and it fills that out. So that's a really quick for loop on how to get through each cell within a range. Very, very helpful code. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the Everyday VBA channel. Leave comments. If you like this video, please add a like. Hope you enjoyed.